Hi, I'm Alicia, and I'm at COP19. I'm speaking with Ricardo, who's an environmental engineer, about the scientific aspects of COP. Um, so, Ricardo, there's been a recent report that's been published by some scientists uh, of the scientific community about climate change. Um, what are the implications of that? Yeah, in fact, uh, this report is a physical report uh, on the climate change science. So it's uh, with scientists from around the world. And what, what can we uh, extract from this report, basically, is that uh, the climate change is more certain than ever, let's say. Um, but there are other implications to this report. And uh, from being present here uh, in this conference, what I see is that there is a delay between the science we get from the scientists and then the influence it will have on the policy making. And this, these delays are really important because uh, policy makers need, for their, their decision making process, they, they, lead, they need the uh, evidence. And uh, if science is taking too much, for example, to relate uh, typhoons uh, to climate change, they will also have a delay in their own actions in their own countries. Um, let's give another example, the malaria. We've spoken about malaria. So if this is not completely related to the climate change uh, science, then we might expect delays as well to see some action towards uh, mitigating uh, the effects, the health impacts of, uh, for example, vector-borne diseases. So what do you think the scientists should be doing or can do to make sure that their findings are known to the negotiators? I don't know, but uh, what do you think, Alicia? I think that maybe we shouldn't be waiting in some uh, specific topics. We shouldn't be waiting just for science because it's urgent to act. Uh, as, it, as it has been stated by several leaders. Uh, so why not act? Why uh, wait for uh, something even worse to happen and then we don't have a chance to, to act properly? So, so what you're saying is, even if we're only 99% certain that, that climate change is happening, that it needs to be reacted on, are we, are we willing to take that 1% risk? with you know, our future, our children's future, and you know, their future, and, and the climate as a general? No, my answer is no, I don't yeah. think so, for sure not. Perfect, well thank you so much for talking to me today. Thank you.